no, we, back, yeah, back again. Uh, what are fight weeks like for you now, right? I mean, all, all the weird things that have happened over the years and everything. I mean, what, is a fight week nerve-wracking? Is it exciting? Like, what's it like for you? Uh, it's exciting, you know what I mean? I'm getting, getting ready to do what I love. Uh, you know, obviously it's been a while, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I've, been, I've been through plenty of fight weeks with other guys, just been there for uh, guys I've helping out for camp. So, I mean, like I said, I'm just ready to go. Obviously, these last four years have been like this insane stretch for you, just like the most snake bit stuff that happens. Like, how, how challenging has it been for you to just keep the faith of like, I know I'm doing the right thing, I know I'm moving in the right direction, I know I'm, I'm, I'm doing all the right moves? Um, I mean, honestly, like, I think it would be different if I was, like, fighting was my main source of income. You know what I mean? I have a business and stuff like that. I think it makes it a little bit easier. Obviously, this is what I love to do. This, I mean, this is my passion. This is my love. Obviously, I consider this a job. I come in there and work, you know, my ass off every time I'm in the gym. But at the same time, too, like, uh, I have a, other revenues, a stream of money. So it's not like I'm de just depending on this. You know what I mean? I got my acai business, and I have other things uh, in, in the background that I do. So, um, like I said, like, it's exciting. Uh, I'm just excited, you know, to have fun again, be able to be myself, and uh, go out there and, and shock everybody. It's awesome. I, I wondered about that, like, like, your family's growing, right? Business is doing well. It's so, like all these things, like, outside are doing fantastic. H has that been, I guess, A, helpful, and B, has it been weird to be like, hey, I'm, I'm happy with all this when, you know, you were chasing this dream of being a fighter that I know you've had for a long time? Um, no, I mean, I think it's all the same. I, I don't think, uh, I'm probably one of the, like, the hardest people to get to, I guess you can say. Like, even, like, when people talk smack around me on social media and stuff, it's like, bro, I'm not on social media enough for, to really care or really care what you say about me uh, or my career, you know what I mean? The guys saying stuff about me, usually you guys that wish they were in my position, uh, so it really hasn't really deterred me from anything, uh, you know, just being around the sport. I love it. I love coaching. I love helping other people. And uh, I'm still around it, obviously. Like, yeah, I'm not competing. Uh, that's what I was trying to explain to people. I'm not competing, but, you know what I mean, I'm excited to compete. I'm hungry to compete. Like, this is what I do. Uh, I'm a wrestler, so every weekend I'm competing. You know, when I was in high school and college, I'm competing the uh, weekend. I would take third one tournament. Well, I got this week to take first. So it's kind of sucked at, about the layoff, but, you know what I mean, even at the gym I'm competing. So, uh you know, like I said, I'm excited to go in there and do what I do. I love it. All right, so you talk about, like, the, the setbacks, right? But you're talking about a champ and a former champ. I mean, pretty good yeah. competition that you've been in there with, right? So I guess how do you kind of feel like your level is at right now? Like, where do you feel like, you know, you rank in division and, and do you feel like it's an accurate ranking in your performances, given that you came up short but against the elite of the division? Um, honestly, I really don't pay attention to the rank because people ask me all the time, like, where do you rank? Like, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter, all right, unless you're the champ. So uh, I really don't care about the rankings. I feel like I'm still one of the best guys in the division. I mean, I train with Ricky Simone, Cody Garbrandt. You know, I train with other guys. Uh, you know, I've trained with Cheeto Vera, trained with those guys. And, uh, you know, I hold my own against them. So I know I'm still one of the best guys in the world. Uh, I haven't been out to prove it. Uh, I mean, I, I lost to Davidson and lost to Pantoja, two of the best guys in the division. Davidson, you know, obviously one of the best in the division. Now he's moved up and he's still having success. And Pantoja, you know, uh, one of the best guys in the division right now, and he's on a, uh, you know, he just beat Brandon, uh, Brandon, Brandon Moreno, and then he beat Brandon Royval. Uh, so, I mean, it's not, it's kind of hard to say, like, oh, man, I suck, but then at the same time, too, these guys are both champs. They both kind of, you know, I've ran through some guys in the division, so, I mean, I'm not too worried about it. All right, so you talk about coming off fights with the elite in the division. Now you get Mokayev, this youngster, obviously an impressive record on paper, but hasn't been at the top of the division. What did you think when this was the name given to you and, and what kind of talent he has? Um, yeah, I mean, I, he's, he's tough. Right? He's one of the best guys in the world. I mean, obviously he goes in there and proves it. Uh, I think a lot of people are avoiding him. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter. I always say yeah to every fight. You know what I mean? Obviously, after all those cancellations, uh, you know, I went from Matt Chanel to Askar Askarov to, like, you're going to fight Pantoja. Okay, cool. It wasn't like, ah, you know what? You know what? I'll sit out a little bit longer. That was the name they gave it to me. So my job is to fight, not to match make. So I'll take whatever they give me and uh, whatever they offer. Uh, I feel like he's tough, man. It's going to be a good challenge. Uh, I feel like his wrestling and grappling obviously matches up well with mine. Uh, I'm excited to test myself against someone that uh, that, that that likes to wrestle and likes to grapple. So I, I, I expect a lot of scrambles in this fight, a lot of, uh, you know, high-paced uh, grappling in this uh in, in this matchup, so I'm, I'm ready. I know you said you don't let the critics' voices get to you at all, but there's a chance to silence a lot of them with an impressive performance here. Does that appeal to you at all to be able to just tell the world, like, F you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm back, I was always here. 
Uh, not really. I honestly, I always tell people I, I can care less what people think about me. If I did, I'd be just like everybody else. Like, fuck. I get on social media. I've had people talk shit on on me in social media. I've had people freaking DM me. So I just laugh at it. Uh, I think I'm one of the, I think one of the like lighter hearted guys. Uh, I know people get really offended uh, by it. I mean, even when uh, like uh, Marcel will post a picture of me and someone puts something about me, and I'll be on the same card. I just fucking comment on it, like laughing faces, like fuck, he got me on that one. You know what I mean? I, I make fun of myself. I talk shit, my family talks shit to me, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm not really worried about what people, other people say or you know, their opinion of me. I can care less. I love it. Last thing for me, like I said, you do have a, a nice ranking in the division. Win here would be meaningful, but are you making future plans? I mean, it's been so hard to get consistent. Are you thinking, well, if I win here, now I get the number one contender fight, or now I get to challenge this guy. Are you thinking about like past this, or is it just about Saturday? No, it's just about Saturday. I've, you know, when, uh, I've always been about... I just worry about what's in front of me. Just keep fighting, keep winning. They can't deny you, right? So I win this fight on Saturday and go on to the next one. I'm not really worried about um, what's next. I'm just worried about this fight on Saturday night. Hey, Alex. Um, has it been annoying, like, with people bringing up all the cancellations when, like, almost half of those weren't even your fault? Uh, no, I think it's funny. I mean, obviously, you know who the uh, real fans are and who, who aren't, you know? Like, in my record, yeah, it says cancellation. Obviously, I don't say... Like, oh, this guy pulled out, this guy pulled out, this guy did this. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, it's it's on the record. Uh, I always tell people, you got to own up to it. Like, fuck. Uh, the shittiest part about, like, our sport is that we're, we're, we're in front of you guys, right? We're in front of the media. And internet's undefeated, uh, you know? So uh, I just embrace it. I'm like, fuck it. What's, what's the worst going to happen? These guys don't know me. These guys don't run my life. I can care less with what people think of me or what they say about me. It doesn't, it doesn't affect my daily life. Like, as long as my son's happy, my family's good. You know, my mental is good. I mean, like, I feel, I feel great. I'm, I'm happy. I'm in a good spot mentally, physically. So, I'm, I, like I said, I'm excited. I can really care less what they say about my record. Last thing about your record. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh, your, your last cancellation, it was a scary one, right? And not a lot of people knew what was going on behind the scenes. Can, can you share what happened? Uh, I just ended up getting sick, you know, um, it happens, and uh, yeah, the UFC did a great job, they helped me get all the testing done, did extensive testing and everything done like that, you know what I mean, I, I don't expect everybody to understand, especially the, like the guys that in this business, in the sport, you guys, right, you guys kind of understand a little bit more, because you guys are around all the time, but the natural, you know, like the guys that just watch on TV every once in a while, and then they see, you know, oh, Alex Perez fight gets canceled last minute, da da da. Like, you know, I know Raul just had the same, uh, not the same thing happen, but he wasn't feeling well. He got canceled, you know what I mean? People don't understand what we go through before, after, or even in the back or whatever it is. So, I, like I said, uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm in good health, everything's good. You know, I took some time off away from uh, competing and stuff, and I got everything in order. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I'm excited. Like the UFC did an awesome job, it helped me out with everything, make sure I was, everything was good. and. Uh, clear, you know what I mean, so uh, nothing major, so it was just a, a freak accident, and uh, I'm ready to move on, let's go. Um, everyone's saying, you know, with a, if <clears throat> Muhammad Makayev wins, he's the clear number one contender to fight for the title, but if you go in there and you knock off this, this prospect, do you feel like you should fight Pantoja in, in a rematch for the title? Um, honestly, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about it, like I said, I, I think about Saturday, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, if I do, yeah, okay, great. But at the same time, too, Pantoja fucked me up. So it's kind of one of those things. I also got to build myself back up, you know what I mean? So uh, to me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, whatever's next is next. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. Like I said, I, I tell people all the time, I'm not, uh, I'm not a matchmaker. I'm a fighter. So whatever's next, I'll take. What were your thoughts on the Moreno versus Roy Val fight? Uh, it was good, man. Like, I know both those guys. Like, I've trained at Factory X before with Brandon. I've actually trained with Moreno here a couple times. And both solid dudes in and out of the cage. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard for me to pick a winner or anything like that in general. I just think, uh, you know, Brad, I think Brandon was supposed to fight in December, I believe, and they got pushed to February. Uh, people don't understand, like, uh, oh, oh, you get more time in camp, but sometimes it's a bad thing. Uh, I just think he had an off night. I mean, you know, best guys in the world, uh, you just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it's never going to be guaranteed, like, oh, this guy's ranked one, this guy's ranked two, so number one guy's going to win or whatever. Uh, Things are off night, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't take anything away from Brandon Roy. He came out there like a dog, uh, uh, you know, because uh, Pantoja fight kind of, kind of slowed him down a little bit. I think he kind of wasn't like, wasn't himself in that fight, but I think he kind of came back too. So like, props to Roy Vell on freaking 
coming back to being himself. And, you know, I mean, Brandon's, Brandon's a champion. He's going to be back. He's going to be, you know, grinding again. I just think uh, he deserves some time off, and uh, he'll get back in there. How's it been living in Las Vegas? Uh, it's all right, man. <laughs> it's, not, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, I, I live kind of close to the PI, so it's not crazy. It's not like Las Vegas, Las Vegas, where every, everybody's all crazy. But uh, I don't mind it. Uh, the one thing I do miss is, uh, is the beautiful weather. You know what I mean? Orange County, you can't complain out here. Uh, I hit or miss if it's nice, but uh, it's not too bad. I love the food spots. I open late, though. <laughs> And then finally, who's going to be in your corner? Is, is, is it going to be a mix between Syndicate and Oyama? Uh, so I ended up leaving Syndicate, uh, just kind of uh, doing my own thing. Uh, when I started training with Cody Garbrandt, uh, I felt like the training just fed me a little better, and I was able to structure around the team around me. So it would be a little bit of a mix of, of those guys that I work with, uh, like Billy Bigelow. Uh, obviously, Ricky will be, be in my corner, Ricky Simone, and then Colin Oyama. Uh, you know, I train with him all, uh, all the time. Uh, uh, Vince Morales helps me out for these camps and stuff like that, Marab and all these guys. So I've still trained with these guys. I still I still train with them. So, I mean, kind of just doing my own thing, kind of Vegas. I feel it's a hotbed of MMA, but I think a lot of guys kind of do what I do is kind of make your own camps, kind of go in here and there to train. Like I trained at Extreme a few times, I trained at Syndicate. So I kind of did that and then uh, finished all my camp at Timo Yama. So, uh, like I said, it, 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 was, it was fun. It's probably one of the best camps I've had. Just mentally, physically, I feel probably the best I've found in a really long time. Thanks, man.